Okay. <laughs> I know we're hot mess. So I know you just sitting there like these fat guys. Okay. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, yeah, so we're back here with. Yeah, we're right back here with D Malone, and it's all about my head. Ow. Okay, dope. We got here with D Malone. Yeah. And you're a singer, and you also do a lot of community work. So let's get into. I the, does. Yes, you you're affiliated okay. with Bury the Beef. Are you recording, PC? Dope. Just making sure, because I see you jonesing right there. I was putting <laughs> your glass with Sidebar Crystal or whatever. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> For the win. Okay, so we got Dee Malone in here, and you're pretty much affiliated with the Bury the Beef movement. So what's right. your... Right. It, it's, um, basically, it was a movement started by Life Camp, um, spearheaded by Erica Ford, and we're actually going off to different colleges, different, um, schools, I should just say, um, the prisons, whatever community centers we can actually go to, churches, to kind of, you know, and, and neighborhoods to kind of get a lot of the nonsense that's going on um, to kind of be squashed a little bit, even if it's not, you know, forever, we're, we're trying to work towards the whole forever thing. We want to have a peaceful summer this year. So that's why we're doing this, um, this Bury the Beast concert, which is uh, May 15th and May 16th. Mm -hmm. So May 15th will be at Boys and Girls High School, and May 16th, which is Sunday, will be at Springfield High School. So I got a question for you. Like, what was your inspiration to really join the group? Um, well, I've known Erica for a very long time, and I've kind of always been down with making sure that, you know, our neighborhood was safe. So, you know, when she told me that she was doing it again, she asked me to kind of help out with the whole music department and be the musical director, and so I was like, of course. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to. Definitely, so. so, talking about performances, I forgot to ask you about this question before that. Like, where have you performed? Oh, gosh. <laughs> besides, besides those two areas that you just mentioned? Um, I performed at the House of Blues in Atlantic City. Um, I've done a couple of clubs out here in New York. Uh, so many of those, I just, I couldn't even name them all. Like, do you have a favorite spot? I don't have a favorite spot yet. Really? I really don't. Dope. I don't. But, um, I've performed at Bar 13 a good couple of times, but no, I don't have a favorite spot. I think that, um, the House of Blues was absolutely euphoric. That was amazing. That was truly amazing, but... You know, I'm looking to do plenty more. You know, I've performed out in Monaco, um, in the French Riviera. So I, I don't know if anything I, I want to be there. I want to go right the next time you're going there. I need you to put me into your luggage. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you, know, you would love Monaco. It's so, so, so amazing. I mean, it's I've burned. performed it's in hot. Italy. It's hot, though. I heard it's burned, though. No, it's beautiful. It's hot, but it's beautiful. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It depends on what time of the year you go. Great. What time of the year did you go? I went in the summer, but it wasn't that hot. It wasn't that bad. Are you playing tricks on me? Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, it might actually yeah. be extremely hot for you, but it wasn't that hot. For you. Oh, for me. That's a fat joke. <laughs> 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 That's a fat joke. <laughs> no, because I'm saying you're, you're, you're saying how hot it was. Shut up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yo, so if you leave here with my quote, I'm going to get I'm you. I'm so not, because I've used it like a million times. I'm over don't, it. Don't judge my flaws. That's the what it is. I might see you say, don't judge me. But the first time you yeah, say, don't judge my, by, by my flaws, yo, I'm going to jump on you, son. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Let's make it short. <laughs> okay, so I got a question. Like, what's, the, what's the next mixtape that you're going to be? Are you going to be dropped? What's, like, um, you know, it's crazy. I was going probably. to actually do another mixtape, and I have an actual international DJ. Shout out to DJ Lucky Styles. He's actually trying to get me to do uh, an international mixtape. So that may be the next mixtape that I do. Um, there are, like, a couple of DJs that want me to do mixtapes. So I may do a few more, but I'm actually working on my album right now. So I will it, not tell the title because everyone wants to know, but you, you Okay, I'm going to be it's a few Can we get like a hint? Nope. Does that have anything to do with stilettos or tattoos? Nope. Stop lying. I swear. <laughs> You're lying. That's, <laughs> that is so clean right there. That is so clean. <laughs> I remember chicks used to do that like, what, 2000? Yo, I swear. I was like. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not even a little hint? We get exclusive when you tell me behind air? Nope. A word? That's how Absolutely it is? Absolutely no one knows, except for my photographer and my graphic designer. Poor child. Yo, Hi. talk to like, your photographer friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like the international mixtape that you're working on, how is it going to be different from any mixtape that you've done before? It's probably going to be, um, see the, the first mixtape was a couple of freestyles, um, I guess that's what they call it, where I just redid 
a couple of people popular records over. This one may be more catered to me. Like it may be more of my records and a few freaks out thrown in there. Like you said international. When you said international. Yeah, I'm meaning like London. I'm thinking about like maybe some fist, fist pump music. Yeah, know? baby. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fist pumping all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the fist pump. Love it. Yeah. yeah the uh, fist pump is what we do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be something like that. Dope. Yeah. So, like, who would you like to work with in the future? That's the last question, then. Uh, Kanye! Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Kanye is such a ding-dong in, in, to, to certain people, but he's just, uh, to me, he's a genius. He's a genius. He's yes. super talented, so I'd love to work with Kanye, and I'd love to work with Drake. Okay, so I the last question I have for you, this is my very last question. Okay. What's next for D. Malone? The album, the mixtapes, um, you can catch me in a couple of magazines. Um, and of course, doing some shows. And if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know everything. And then if you go to my website, which is dmaloneonline.com, you'll get updated. Okay, so no. we're gonna get into the last song. What question do you have? Is it, is it gonna, no, you should. You guys gotta hear his voice. Oh my God. Anybody knows his voice. It's not like my man. <laughs> Yo, when he first started talking, I was like, Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it was kidding. <laughs> I, I got a two-part question. But you, if you saw him, you would never believe his voice sounds like. <laughs> yeah, he looks like some of the colors. Two-part question. Okay, go ahead. Going back to the tattoo. <laughs> 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 I can't even take you serious. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, come on. Uh, do you yeah. have any you regret at all? Nope. And are any of them musically inspired? They're all musically inspired. Ah. Yeah, and I have absolutely no regrets. I have um, a tattoo that that spans from my ribs down to my calf. Um, I have mm. one that I just actually got touched up. Shout out to uh, Detach Star at One Stroke Tattoo, the Stroke of Girls. Um, he actually just retouched and added a few things to her and that's on my back. So she's still kind of healing and you know, I, I plan on getting a couple more. Josh, more. there's your question and answer. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't regret it. Not a one. Yes. Visualize huh? that. Visualize that. Okay? Not a perfect. Yeah, I, I, yeah, with those <laughs> questions you said you had. <laughs> okay, so the last song that you, what, what's the last song? Um, the last song is about you. It's um, that's actually what's tatted on my leg. It's some of the lyrics are tatted on my leg. And this is inspired okay. by a certain person. This was inspired by a certain person, and it's actually in the seat filler um movie, the uh, DVD version. It's on the uh, so. If yeah, alright, alright. Okay, so let's get into the song. Yeah, let's get into the last song, then we're gonna get into the performance song. Yeah. Yes.